This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so today, today's agenda is that uh, we'll talk about how to delete uh, profiles. So before do, uh, doing that, uh, okay, so a little bit change in the environment setup that we had, that uh, demo IBM where I have deleted. So reason being, uh, parallelly I had uh, two different profiles, two different setup, and I was getting lots of conflict when I was trying to run either of one of the instances. So uh, anyways, we got uh, installation fix pack and SDK part and profile management. We started, we talked about uh, uh, manage profiles.sh and how to create a profile. And uh, we talked about uh, auto federation. So today I'll, what I'll do, I'll create another profile base 02. We'll do manual federation. And uh, then on top of this base 01, I have a running uh, app server uh, setup that I have come with is like uh, uh, we'll have two scenarios when I'll talk about uh, deletion of any profile a profile the first scenario being a profile where the setup is there app servers are created and uh, then uh, uh, deployment has been done so that profile how to delete and uh, another scenario being where uh, there is a blank profile just federated to uh, DMZ and so and uh, maybe for so and so reason we want to delete that profile so uh, deleting a blank profile or deleting a profile hosting an application so both scenario we'll check today and then we'll see if we can proceed up anything further than that so i'll quickly check uh, if uh, scenario one is setup is ready Okay, so scenario one setup is ready. Uh, I have a, a profile, let's say I have clustered app server zero one. Just a minute, uh, facing hung issue. So meanwhile, what I'll do, I'll in background, I'll create another profile, blank profile base 02 also. I could have come prepared with that. Anyways. So base zero two opt IBM use for profile templates manage profile path is this sell them not them federate letter true we'll do uh, manual federation 
so coming to that uh, uh, our case like uh, uh, passing a port number here so that case uh, as of now I'll skip I'll come on that uh, that case maybe tomorrow like uh, I have not uh, prepared any notes on that so maybe I'll come on that is there, tomorrow is there a way that I can get a copy of those notes just like because you know all those typed out commands that we have just be more convenient if we can have a copy of that and just copy and run it yes yes sure so what I'll do uh, I'm preparing a notes for you guys till today's class and in that notes I'll prepare uh, all I'll give all these commands so that you can directly copy and paste and use oh, thanks. so today I'm, uh, I'm actually on off I, I had to go to office on weekend so there was some release and I was asked to come all of a sudden so that's why I couldn't uh, do any um, uh, notes preparation so today I have in a comp of so today I'll uh, work on this and we'll share before uh, you come in the morning Thanks. <clears throat> so, uh, so I'm just running another command in backend which will create another base zero to profile. So the case two will be ready. Uh, meanwhile, we'll talk about case one and we'll try to delete a profile uh, using some, uh, we'll make some mistakes uh, and we'll see like uh, if you miss those parts, then what happens, uh, how profile gets corrupted. So before I do that, I'll just let you know like what I'm going to do today. Mm. Where to write? Okay. So today uh, we are going to talk for profile deletion. Uh, maybe if you guys having any confusion uh, so far in profile creation, uh, I'll give you the notes. Go through the notes uh, and whatever we did in practical, you have in the recordings. And uh, on top of that, to go through the notes. And if you feel like, uh, okay, this is enough, and uh, uh, I have the reference video also, and I can do this, it's okay. Or else, if you feel like a uh, few of the topics, uh, 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 like, uh, okay, this part is uh, not clear, so we can recap that. So meanwhile, uh, we are talking about profile deletion and the scenario that I'll be taking first scenario will be that uh, I, ha I have uh, a profile uh, base 0 1 on top of that I have uh, uh, app server created and on top of that I have uh, application 1 deployed. So this is the running uh, 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 base here node isn't is up. Uh, a base zero ones uh, when we do federation we get node isn't so node isn't is up app server process is up application is up people are using it and uh, let's say uh, this is a non production environment and you have been told okay, okay due to some issues we have to delete this profile so being uh, uh, one scenario what we can do is like uh, suppose if you do not know the proper uh, deletion so what we'll do we'll do manage profiles dot sh then we'll use hyphen delete option it says okay i'm going to delete so which profile so i'll give the profile name as base 01 suppose i did this so this we can do from was root so this i can run with was root where uh, was root will be opt ibm where app server and then was root bin let's say so from here i will run this command so this will delete the profile with name base 01 so yes, so if you if you enter this command, this command will delete the profile, but this is not the proper deletion. You will get deletion done, but uh, uh, still when you list list profiles, you will get the base zero ones profile uh, uh, existence in the registry. Second thing, uh, probably uh, like uh, we'll run the scenario, we'll see what actually happens. So one is that uh, uh, that uh, scenario. So why that happens, the reason being that uh, uh, a proper deletion means like you have to delete from uh, like a bottom up approach. First uh, is like you have to shut down your app servers. If you're doing a very good uh, 
uh, uh, profile deletion if you are cleaning everything properly then people say like undeploy application then uh, uh, stop uh, app servers so you can do that also uh, either uh, or else you can uh, like that is also good if you are just stopping app server and then the stopping node agents all the process are stopped first and then you are deleting the uh, first then uh, so uh, first we'll do this like uh, we will uh, corrupt it second uh, and so what is the correct method correct method is like shut down everything related to that profile so shut down app server and node isn't and then do a defederation because you have connected this uh, profile to dmj so make sure that uh, before you are deleting it it has been uh, defederated and then we you do deletion so that will do a clean profile delete so we'll see these two scenarios and then we'll compare with the practicals like uh, see what was uh, wrong uh, so how to list profile suppose i have deleted profile then i have to list my profile so the command will i use is manage profiles so i'll list my profiles And uh, let's say uh, uh, my assumption is that if I delete without, uh, if I did directly delete without uh, performing these steps uh, in uh, in the list profiles, I should still see my base zero one. Even even if it says that I have deleted it, this existence should be there. And if uh, uh, suppose I did that mistake accidentally and I have still base zero one existence, then how to correct my mistake? We'll talk about that, and then we'll talk about the registries. So what is uh, validate registry and what is validate and update registry? So let's uh, do this and let's see if we get the setup to talk about. So mm -hmm. In uh, VM, we face generally this issue when uh, if uh, you have a command prompt and console open at a time, so mod Mozilla hangs. So if it, if it comes up, I'll just close Mozilla. In just moment, I'll close the door and come.
Okay. So uh, where am I? Where am I in root. So first verify how many profiles I'm having. So it will confirm if the other profile has been created. App server or then or before deletion. We'll just make sure that uh, what was the correct involvement. Manage profiles hyphen list profiles. I la 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 the spelling is wrong. Profiles. Okay, so uh, now anyways, I shown you guys that on base 01, there is a, a server created or anyways, uh, if you want to see that, so we'll go to proof profiles and uh, base 01 and uh, here config sales dmjsl servers Clusters. So here cluster zero one is there, and the cluster zero one is having. I'll come up. So I am actually in base zero ones, base zero ones a cell inside cell. I have created a cluster, and inside that cluster, all the cluster members files are there. So there is a cluster zero one is, uh, there, and uh, if pipe is working today not working so ps hyphen help coffee ps sorry sorry Good. java so if you run this uh, grep java command so uh, so there is, there is a server running, it's running on top of base 01. So there is a cluster 01 running and uh, node agent is running for this because this base 01 is federated to uh, DMGR and node agent process was created and I have not uh, stopped that process the scenario and then the DMGR process is running. So there are three processes running and uh, now we will go back to our case and we will try to delete profile one so logic says that I could have stopped that but we'll see like what happens if you do not do that so profiles hyphen delete hyphen profile me base zero so before uh, anyways like uh, we listed the profiles like right? so, so we had uh, DMJ profile base zero and base zero to profile so we have deleted this profile so let's just wait one minute and let's see what happens after this we we'll list the profile again and see if uh, anything is there so straight away it said that uh, I cannot do the action executed while server is running so fine so that's uh, one mistake so uh, it says like uh, fine you have to delete, uh, stop the process deleted uh, re related to this base profile so fine so that uh, if it's uh, that much uh, aware of that like uh, without your stop uh, i will not go ahead so i will do that uh, skill uh, if a stop will take a lot of time so we'll just kill 24 27408 27408 this is for app server and for node doesn't uh-huh it's then okay first kill kill minus nine two seven or uh, maybe I have the monetary policy on also so it will quickly come up. Okay. 
so see i have monitoring policy on i'll tell you what is the monitoring policy anyways you guys know but i will check so before i because i am having monitoring policy on the moment i'm clicking uh, killing it it's still coming up so in that case i have to prefer first kill node isn't so that is double two four seven four Double two four seven four. It's not that me. Double two four seven four. And uh, then, if I check Java process, I have server process and Java process. Here is uh, sorry, DMJ process, server process, and DMJ process. So I'll kill my. Three zero two eight four also, and now if I check the Java process, it will not bring. Every time it's uh, only DM Java is there, so now uh, app server is not coming up. So sometimes it happens uh, in our work life also. When uh, suppose for a so and so reason, we were we we are trying to uh, uh, kill app server profile, it keeps coming up. So in that case, you you can have uh, an assumption that maybe someone has set monitoring policy, and what is is trying to bring it up. Uh, so if you can do either a graceful stop that server, or else if you are if you want to kill only, then you have to kill node agent first, so that node agent doesn't come uh, doesn't bring the app server uh, up once you are killing it. So now fine. So uh, like first node we have taken care of. Like if saying that what they are running process, so there's no there are no more running process, and then let's see what happens. So what's the other scenario that uh, we talked about? So this uh, it took care itself, like uh, shut down this app server and and no design. So there's no point of doing any mistake here. Like uh, if lower lower was it could have still uh, 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 like. Uh, Go, uh, went on like uh, yes i'll go ahead and delete your profile but in the higher version of us it's suggesting you that uh, there are some running process on top of this like uh, node agent and apps are running so you have to shut down unless until i'll not run the command so fine so uh, uh, like uh, we are safe till here but defederation will check whether here uh, like a defederation is being taken care of or itself or not and uh, if not then what happens if i profile delete without uh, doing the defederation so it says that profile uh, no longer exist so and i got success message also but still command is doing some post deletion stuff and now i got uh, command completion now let's do list profiles And let's see. So base zero one is not there. Uh, we'll just validate registry. Validate registry is just uh, like whatever ports were assigned to that node agent and that base zero two should be free. So that if uh, I suppose the base zero two are using a nine zero eight one port, uh, like a uh, app server's default port. Uh, to host any application, default port is 9080, uh, so that was being used by base 01, and uh, base 02 is now using 9081. So we, we just want to make sure that 9080 is free now. So that's uh, like a, uh, if you want to validate registry, it is like uh, yes, no ports are hung or no ports are being uh, overridden, everything is fine. So fine. So second case is also not uh, uh, here uh, to show you guys. If I def without uh, uh, defederating, if I delete a profile, if profile is, is still uh, got deleted and uh, uh, registries are still valid. So what went wrong? So what went wrong is here. If you go profiles, uh, DMJR config cells, DMJR cells nodes. So basically, my assumption is that uh, your uh, base zero one profiles should not be listed here. Okay. So base zero two federation was not done, so that's why it's not here. And uh, base zero one is deleted without defederation. It's not here. So it's a strange thing that I'm getting. You should have. So, so far, like without defederation, also if I am deleting, I am I am not seeing any issue. Uh, but uh, that should not be the case. Somewhere, 
I must see the issue. So one issue is here. It's not an issue. Anyways, if you delete any profile, the directory structure will be still there. So that's still not the issue. Okay. Oh, this scenario I am not able to generate. Mm, that's embarrassing. Okay, guys, so I failed in doing that scenario uh, generation for you. Uh, I was hoping, first thing, uh, uh, this this was uh, uh, another thing that uh, Wes, was, Wes was smart enough that he asked me to shut down everything. And then if I didn't do the deep federation, still, uh, it, uh, Wes was able to delete the profile and then able to delete all the connecting file system between him uh, this base and the node uh, and the dmgr and what i was hoping you'll find if uh, uh, you have done the deletion but uh, because the federation was not there so dmgr will still have some file reference of this profile and that will create a confusion in mind of uh, any admin who will visit the file system later on he will say that uh, okay the file systems are there but the profile is still not there so what went wrong so, but uh, it took care of that cleanup also. So it completely cleaned the database zero one node zero one uh, directory itself. Okay. So. So so I, would you delete the profile off of the federated uh, the node, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that uh, I was trying to tell you with this example that uh, if you are deleting a profile, you must defederate it before that, or else it will corrupt the file system. But uh, that's not the scenario. I didn't, I didn't do the defederation, and it's still profile got deleted, and file systems are still clean. So, 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 uh, so, so when you defederate the system, what, well, what's the, um, like, what's the steps to defederate the system? So I, I understand that you can shut down the app servers um, and the node agent. The defederation process, do you, do you delete that from the deployment manager or do you? Uh, uh, no, uh, the defederation will be something like, uh, uh, I'll show you. I'll show you the manual federation and defederation now. And uh, okay. for, uh, for this scenario, this should not be the scenario, but maybe uh, this 8.5 is smart enough I have seen this uh, these issues if some people are not stopping or not defederating profiles being corrupted in the lower version of was so what i'll do uh, i'll try to have a lower version of was set up and see if that behaves the same way that this guy behaves and then i can say that uh, this uh, this was something which also have been taking care of the higher version of was so i'll keep that also as a pending activity pending scenario to show you guys if possible Meanwhile, I'll, uh, I'll try to do uh, second profile that base 02 that I created. I'll try to do that federation. So do, to do the federation uh, is like uh, I'm trying to connect to uh, like uh, uh, what, what, actually, uh, what we do is like we can, we are trying to connect to base 02 to DMJ. So that day we did it uh, without uh, uh, auto federation we did. Today we'll do uh, manual federation. So the command is that uh, go to profile base 0 1 and bin the profile that you want to federate you have to go to that profiles bin and then there you have two commands add node dot sh where uh, you will uh, give the dmjr's host name and dmjr's soap connector port so you you will give the soap port which will be by default 8879 or else you have to check uh, uh, the the soap uh, if you have multiple dmjr's then you have to check uh, What's the uh, support for the DMJ that you are targeting to? So uh, that will happen. Uh, that uh, add node command will federate. It will connect this base uh, base zero two in our case, uh, base zero two to DMJ, and going onwards, DMJ will able to manage this. And if you want to defederate it, then the, from the same directory you have to run the command called remove node. 
and then without any parameter because now uh, anyways it knows like uh, from whom i have to defeat it because the connection whatever connection had happened that uh, goes and sits in the file system now if i'm trying to remove node so it knows that i have to get removed from this local host so re remove node will also not work if your dmjr is down so these things are there like uh, for any manual filtration and all danger should be up if dmjr is down it will you will have a invocation target exception error you will get so invocation target exception is like uh, this is uh, like uh, it will uh, try to connect on this local host and if the local host is not found it will say that i'm not uh, uh, able to invoke the target and that's why i'm having an exception so that exception will happen if only dmjr is down so target dmjr should always be up if you are doing a federation or defederation and uh, when we are talking of these commands then suppose tomorrow you want to name this suppose i uh, name this base 0 as b uppercase a uppercase and i want to rename it as a b uppercase a lowercase so that you can do even after uh, the profile creation we have a rename node command so we can uh, rename our node anytime so that's a few of the commands that I was trying to show you. So for now, we'll do the federation here and we'll come back. I will talk about other few stuff. So I have to go as usual. Uh, my DMJR should be up. So uh, yes, I have just killed uh, base zero's node agent and app server. DMJR is still running. So if the prerequisite is fulfilled. I'll just go prof uh, profiles. Base zero to base zero and directory structure is still there, so you have to clean that manually. If you delete some profile, that directory structure will still be there, and that remains true with everything. If you uninstall was your directory structure, this off type of your app server it still remains. So you have to after uninstalling or after deleting something. Uh, directory structure is something that was doesn't take care of itself. You have to come and manually delete those. So that's that's one uh, bug or something so add node.sh local host should the node agent be up while you are federating it uh no why because once you do federation then only you will get the node agent so okay. what happens uh now only dmjr process is running yeah. and uh, and uh, like uh, you, you want to connect to this dmjr from base 0 to and you are saying like uh, yes uh, like uh, uh, now i'm in a standalone uh, standalone uh, uh, profile i can uh, invoke my own admin console also but uh, that was the case of base package now in nd package we want like okay one person only will do the management and rest is rest all will do the work for management part they will always be dependent on dmjr so it says he, okay i'll add add I'll, I'll add myself to dmjr so it when it adds it himself to dmjr so it says, okay, fine, going onwards, whatever work uh, DMJR is doing, someone will come and someone will tell me. So it's like uh, I'm a resource and uh, uh, I'm telling you, okay, my manager will manage me, but I'll not always, always be uh, in touch with manager. I'll have a team lead, so we, who will be called like a node agent. So the moment the federation will happen, a node agent process will get created. And then node agent process will make sure uh, that... Uh, 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 it will tell whether the base 02 is in sync with DMJR or not in sync with DMJR in the console. So we'll, we'll do the federation and uh, we'll see the federation log and in that log we'll see that uh, uh, so node agent is uh, created and then uh, first sync is happening, whatever file system is in DMJR, DMJR is passing all those files in system to base 02, assuming that I'm being done so before we do the federation let's do let's do one thing when i say that one thing happens so what if i create here a file called touch local.txt and my id is still root ls l touch so what i'm trying to show you guys here okay local what i'm trying to show you guys here that uh, I, now I have a local file uh, apart from all the profile management stuff and all, I have a local uh, file created. So uh, I say that uh, uh, after federation, node agent will get created and first thing will happen. So my uh, ideology will be that uh, this is something that I have created in local. 
and let's see if dm just finds that uh, okay you are doing something in local now uh, should i go ahead and delete that so that one file i created before federation so let's see what happens if uh, if you have a local files before federation whether those are getting deleted so that one scenario i'll take like a local files before federation and we'll talk about after federation also so we'll see what happens what happens uh, if i'm having a local file before federation and after federation i'll, I'll like let's just write this uh, uh, scenario and uh, i'll show you what happens so then i'll be able to tell you uh, that part what do i say uh, sync so that scenario will help you to so teach you the sync part so whether i ran that command or not right i, I didn't run that command no, I didn't run. So, again, this command. So, this is this is the add node dot log is being generated. Oh, I could have went to command in back end. So anyway, see. So uh, there are some certificate, default certificates. When you create a DMJ profile, you you get default certificates. So that uh, I'll show you when I'll tell you the SSL part. So what happens now uh, when I'm federating my base to DMJ, I'm getting those all signers, all those default certificates from DMJ to base. It uh, connects to DMJ. So that's so that's where the trick part is that if DMJ is down, it this uh, uh, connection will not happen. It's a, like su successfully connected to DMGR manager on localhost 879. So if suppose DMGR is not up, so on this step, your federation script will fail and it will come out. So now it says that uh, no server is found. So this is a blank uh, uh, blank base. And uh, then it's, uh, it's just creating no agent configuration for this. Synchronization, synchronization happening between node and cell and node agent is launched also so here node agent gets created so there is no point of uh, uh, deleting a node agent before federation but when you are doing defederation then yes this process should be down so there are two other things also is like uh, uh, what happens during federation uh, uh, only file system gets uh, uh, sync suppose he, here it gives you two nodes so it's self-explanatory uh, nodes First, it says any cell level documents from a standalone DMGR configuration have not been migrated to the new cell. You might want to update the configuration of DMGR cell deployment manager with the values from the old cell level documents. So what happens this? So this means like uh, what uh, I have cre created this lo local, I have created one local.txt here. Before federation, I have created a local.txt. So that will explain the first notes. I'll come on that. Second, it says because the hyphen include apps was not specified, so application installed on the standalone node, like a base 02 node, were not installed on the new cell. So, anyways, uh, uh, it means what? Like, anyways, uh, here it said that uh, no app servers were found. So, when there is no server, there is no deployment also because deployment is being done on top of servers. So, it himself says there is no server, so we are good. What if? You have a base 02 profile uh, running as a standalone without federation, and on top of that, you have created a server. On top of that, you have done a deployment, and then all of a sudden, you want to okay, no more self management. Let's go defederate to DMJR. So, in that case, if you are doing that defederation, then you have to pass hyper include apps option. Then, only your all installed application configuration will go to the new cell. Else, uh, uh, still, you can do federation without hyper include apps. But then your uh, application information error will not go to DMGR. And let's say if you have done that issue, then how will you resolve that? Then post federation, you have to sync everything. Once you'll sync, uh, then your DMGR will find you. Okay, I have all the information. So uh, uh, to avoid all that confusion, okay, what if that uh, is the scenario? What should I do? Uh, it's suggested that uh, when you are uh, uh, building any infrastructure where you have you have created a profile and you know that uh, this is not a self-managed profile, this will be a DMGR managed profile. So before creating any servers, any application, do the federation. Make sure the file systems are connected and then you are doing something on top of this base 
from DMGR rather than doing something on this as in a standalone server because that will create a lots of issue, lots of uh, lots of effort later on to make sure that DMGR knows what uh, is local. So now federation is done. So uh, uh, what will happen? I'll uh, I'll get a, a, a node isn't process. So if I see node isn't I'll write all this like uh, um, if you guys know or not do not know. I'll write uh, how to create how to check for which process like uh, where to put DMGR node or Java or maybe directly app servers. So node isn't is up for base zero to node for base zero to profile and when it come up after federation. So we have to always make sure that node isn't will be there only if federation is done and if you are doing deep federation node isn't should be down. So there is no server running. Now let's see uh, what happened with our local dot text so local dot text is still there it means what like i have created something before federation so that file is still there so, so let's say i have done the federation so does this file go to some is, is this file somewhere present in uh, uh, dmgr also in uh, dmgr profile because uh, 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 during federation i came to know that uh, one synchronization was happened it says that Synchronizing configuration between node and cell. So what is cell? Cell is DMGR cell. So we'll go to DMGR cell and we'll we'll try to find this local dot text and we'll see uh, if I have any local files before federation. So what happens with that? Whether I get that into master configuration or not. So DMGR config cells DMGR and let's find in present working directory. The name of file is local.txt and if it's there then give me the path so the file is not here so what i tried to find it i am trying to find in local uh, directory present working directory the name of the file is local.txt and if that is found then print me the path where it's found uh, uh, whether this command is working or fine or not if you want to check then let's go back to our base Zero two, and let's run the same command here. So it says yes, this file is there. It's in present working directory's bin in local dot text. So that that uh, that creates yes. So uh, what I was trying to say, uh, show you guys is that if you try to create any local uh, file system before doing the federation, and then you do the federation, you lose all all those files. You are going to lose all those files because now, uh, first thing, you uh, first thing uh, you didn't lose this file, but uh, DMGR doesn't know that we proved uh, in DMGR self uh, this file's reference is not there. And going on, but anyways, I'm going to I'm telling you that DMGR is the master configuration. So you you have something in your local file system before federation, and then all of a sudden you told okay I'll no more self management. DMGR will manage me, and you got you got federated. A thing happened. No reason is up. Everything is cool, but your local file is still your local. It's not in master configuration. So that's something. Suppose that local file is having some database configuration, some MQ configuration, some sensitive configuration. Then anyways, you're not going to use that second risk is now uh, on top of this what if now dmgr does another thing so now if dmgr does another thing is he is going to delete your local file because now he will come to know like yes after federation now i'm your manager so what you did before coming to me is you have hidden it i do not know but now if I do the next thing, is like if I'll do the next audit, I go and check if my system is in sync with the uh, your system. So if it's not in sync, if you are having anything in your local, I'm going to delete. If I'm having anything in my my local, uh, like uh, in master configuration, which you do not have, then I'm going to give you that. So that happens in sync. So to uh, to uh, represent the second scenario, what I'll do uh, in DMGR. uh config cells dmgr cell nodes base zero to node here i'll create uh, let's say if there is any file here no such file 
here I'm going to create a file called touch I am from DNGR sorry sorry why I'm putting this I am from DNGR dot text and uh, my aim is that after sync so this file should go to my base also so now I have created into cell DMGR config cell in this file system and uh, let's say if this uh, I'll I'll tell you guys maybe just follow me and if you have any confusion then just stop me now in base 0 to config cells DMGR cell do have a nodes profile here and base zero to node in a session is star dot text so the file is not here so i have created something in in this node itself but from dmj like uh, i have created something here so let's say like uh, i created a file called called uh, i am from dmj dot text but that file is still not here because uh, you have created something manually so that's another restriction on you that you do not create any anything manually in file system if you have to do anything then do it from console and if you are doing something in manually then you have to do a sync so assuming all these things so what one scenario we had one scenario we had like i had a local text so uh, I, I have three scenarios discussed here so let's write that and then we'll uh, do a sync and we'll see how it behaves first scenario was before federation so before federation I had a local file in base so before federation so after federation that was not seen in DMG cell. so that's a that's a, a, a point to a note yes uh, th this this will not happen and this will not happen anytime so you have not used you, you should you are not supposed to create anything in your local if you feel like tomorrow i have to do a federation that's why uh, people say is like if you are if you want to do a federation do a blank federation just create a profile and right away straight away do the federation and then you do whatever you want to do second thing second scenario what we talked about i have a local file when i say local is like manual i have created it manually so i have a local file manually created in node like in base 0 2 so it's still it's not visible in DMJR and then third scenario I have again manually created a file in DMJR cell so that is not visible again back in base 0 2 so we'll see what happens so this I have created a file manually related in base 02 is local.txt the file name is local.txt that uh, I created for this scenario and where is that file present this file is present in profile base 01 bin I'll show you that so that after that we can come and we'll see with the file what happened with the file and this this uh, this is, is in danger cell config cell inside that nodes and uh, base base 01 node here that file is there so i'll quickly write that path I'll, I'll show you that path so what i did so far and then we'll do a sync from console so what we did so far mm, just go back here here i am having local.txt so this is what this is my base 0 to local so that's the scenario that i was talking so that i have a file called local.txt in base 0 to somewhere in bin so that i have created manually so it's, uh, my assumption is that that file should not be present in dmgr we checked we did a find command uh, by going in dmgr profile and that file was not seen and uh, my uh, what i was trying to show you is that if i do a sync this file will get deleted after sync you will lose local files so it means what so after sync dmj will come and find that this is the file which i do not have 
so you should have all the files that i have if you do not have i will give it to you but you should be always equal to me you should not be having anything uh, which i do not have so you will go and delete it second thing second scenario what what am i mean uh, is that i'll go to dmj dmj config sales dmj cell notes this here i am having another file that i am i am from dmj or something so this file i am saying that post sync this file will be visible in base also where it will be visible right now it's base 0 to config sales nodes base 0 to something wrong cd config sales dmj cell nodes base 0 to nodes so here that file should be visible so as of now here there is no text file So let's see after federation what happens after sync what happens so before i do uh, let's let's do the sync let's lose these files and then we'll come back and i'll explain uh what is sync and what is resync and how uh, uh this uh, vas came to know that uh, something is there in your local how it find that uh, this file is not something which i have so we'll talk about the, the epochs and the di digest value what's the epoch uh, what is the digest value how folders get compared how folders uh, uh, contents gets compared. So we'll talk about all, all that. First, let's just uh, do a sync and uh, we'll, let's see the scenario in result. And then we'll talk about actually what happened and how it happens. So that's uh, that's why that's, that's important to know uh, so because as admin, when we are doing something and uh, uh, when there is nodes, nodes are not in sync, we can uh, we can fix that because uh, just blindly going and syncing nodes sometimes uh, makes you lose so many things. So see, nodes are not in sync. We know that something is there in DMGR node, which is uh, not in base 01 node, and there's something in base 02, which is not in DMGR. But still, uh, console says that everything is in sync. So uh, so actually, see, uh, we, we created DMGR node, base 02 node, so those nodes are here, and in, uh, system admin nodes link i can see all the nodes which have been created so far so dmj node was created and base 0 to node was created only uh, you can do operations only on base 0 to node from here because dmj node we have just created just for uh, like uh, uh, visibility visibility purpose that that node is there like it's, it's like I'm, i cannot do on myself like if i'm a doctor i cannot operate myself something something like that so i can either delete these nodes or i can synchronize these nodes with dmgr or i can full resynchronize with dmgr so only operation you can do is with the managed nodes so dmgr is not the managed nodes right dmgr itself is a node so it's managing other nodes so whatever operation will, will be uh, applicable only for the managed nodes so that's why you get a checkbox for all the managed box no checkbox for the dmgr node so now it says that I'm in sync. Here, uh, you, you'll you'll uh, you'll get the status like uh, whether you are in sync or not in sync. Sync means this uh, this icon, or not in sync means you'll get a zigzag red line. So somewhere when we'll create cluster, and uh, I'll be able to uh, show you that in future. So right now, this everything is in sync. So if I create uh, click on sync, it says that uh, nothing need to be sync. The, it's already in sync. But I know that uh, no, it's not in sync. In backend, I have done something. In back backend, I have created something in local in base zero two and something local in DMGR. And my uh, assumption with theory is that yes, if sync happens, DMGR will give its file to base and it will delete its local file. So I should get uh, uh, that uh, I am from DMGR .x file in base zero two and uh, this base zero two is local .x should be deleted. But now he's saying that uh, no, everything is in sync. So I'll not go ahead and do any sync. No more sync required why that happens and then if i do a full resync 
so anyway sync didn't happen but what what i'll i'll do full resync so that will work and it will say it successfully initiated synchronization of the repository of node with the cell uh, or deployment manager's repository i refresh the page to see the synchronization status so full resync worked so we'll come back on that uh, when we'll talk about uh, epochs and digest value so but uh, right now what happened sync didn't work why it didn't work sync will not work if nodes are already in sync so how oh, here comes the question how do i know how does dmj knows that node is in sync with me and uh, even if admin says he go and do a sync one more time it says no i cannot do the sync everything is in sync and second thing uh, why is still there is different button called full resync and why does that work and uh, that if you do full resync it does a synchronization from scratch and that will give me this scenario fulfilled so something uh, like i was able to do a uh, sync so what i'll do i'll minimize this screen go to file system and first verify the file system for the scenario that i was having so i am in base 02 node earlier there was no text file there was no text file now let's say what is there so now this dmj text came here earlier i we were in the same directory and when we did ls uh, uh, when we try to list all the text files we got no such file of directory but now if i do a sync so the file from the dmjr came into my local so that that's what happens uh, uh, in the master configuration and the dmjr stuff like you do something in dmjr do a sync uh, just uh, you have done something in your uh, dmjr all that is in master configuration the moment you sync the nodes files for or the changes from the master configuration goes and sits in the your uh, local standalone profiles or the managed profiles file system so that's how uh, management stuff works in the federated profile now we'll go and check uh, what happened with my local file i have done so, like uh, though i told you that uh, uh, i'll being managed by you i started doing self management i did some some configuration in my local so we'll see what happened with that so local dot text is still there profiles base 02 then uh -huh. okay see so before we move ahead let me do one thing let me just stop node and uh, start node and then i'll comment or see this before i uh, talk much uh, i'll i'll do this and then uh, i'll see you uh, the file uh, then i'm 100% sure that i'll lose this file and then i'll justify it to see what happened so stop is done now it's coming up the startup i put in back end so i just got this so this let's wait just 2 minutes it won't take much time so scenario 1 is still valid uh, one minute guys Okay, I'm back. So, so no doesn't is up. Now let's say whether what happened with this file. So this file is still here. Ah. Uh -huh.
part of it. Okay, so uh, I'll just do one more thing. I'll stop node and do a manual sync. Uh, this is sync node command to do the manual sync. So what I'm trying to do, so uh, scenario one failed. It's like uh, I manually created a file in DMJ. So this scenario worked. So this worked. It's like uh, 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 if I have uh, something in DMJR config, so DMJR was able to send this, able to send this to node. So that we saw that I am from DMJR.txt file was uh, sent to the node. So that happened with sync. Second thing, uh, second scenario uh, uh, didn't work. And if, if it didn't work, then uh, uh, it's something risky. So that uh, gives me advantage of using the first scenario. Okay, fine. If uh, DMJ is not deleting my profile, then let's uh, do uh, let's create something in my RLF local and do self management even after the federation. So that's uh, something uh, should not happen. So uh, I'll try to find in which of the situation this will fail. So and then I'll be able to justify. You see, in somewhere you'll be caught, and somewhere Dinja is going to delete uh, your local dot text. So you should not have that. So that didn't happen from the console, and that didn't happen. So I'm not still caught with uh, first scenario, and uh, restart of node isn't still restart of node isn't also has not caught me. Now what I have done, I'm doing stop node. And then I'm doing a manual sync, and then I'm doing a start node, and then I'll see uh, if I still have that file. So I probably I'm hoping that this will caught me. This will caught me, uh, catch me, sorry, and uh, I'll lose my local files. So. It got synchronized and the profile node isn't came up. I'll just check whether the node isn't is running. Something, some conflict, or I don't know what it came to. So, Dimja is running. So, I'm in here. Fuck, oh, this one is still here. Okay, because it's not the confusion. Damn. Okay, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, uh, silly mistakes. Okay, let me create a file here. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. So let's just touch local dot text here. Okay, now uh, that. Now do come, 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 come. Now let's do one full uh, full resync once more. See, the file is gone. Maybe you guys, you guys followed me. I, what mistake that I made was that uh, okay, uh, silly mistake that I made. Only the configuration file system gets sync. So something I created out of configuration, I created something in bin. So that's why that file was always there. So when I say that you, you do not do any local uh, configuration, any local uh, file system creation, it means that the restriction is only with the configuration. 
apart from because this this is where you do actual concentration if you have anything in your local bin it is so he is assuming that okay it, local bin is like a, a, a executable file so you have created something for your local execution that you can always uh, keep because base 0 to stop start uh, add node remove node all that happens still from the base 0 to bin itself i i went to base 0 to bin to do add node and remove node and tomorrow if i have to stop node uh, start node i'll do from this bin only so that that is uh, uh, something which is not in dmjar's uh, control dmjar can only control the config file so now if i have created uh, i was here uh, and i created a, a local dot text uh, in my uh, base 02 and when i did a sync it went off so now i'm only having dmjar.txt file and this dmjar.txt file was not here it's in dmjar so when i do a sync it comes here so so that 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 is uh, that makes uh, this work and uh, the mistake that i was making is that it should only be in the configuration file uh, configuration file system so yes if you are doing anything in configuration file system locally you are going to lose it so uh, don't do that and that happens only after the federation because because before federation i do not know uh, do not know what happens with you so after federation if you have anything in local and if i am doing a thing i am going to delete it so uh, you guys got confused or you got the point see murli you got, you got these scenarios or you got confused um yeah i think so i think we'll have to go through this again i need to actually do these problems to kind of <coughs> Is there a way okay. that we can? Okay, can I get that? Can I get a copy of that? Can you, can you copy that over to me? The list, the scenarios right there. Yes, yes. Or else I'll quickly show you the scenario because uh, uh, earlier I was doing lots of uh, here and there. I'll quickly show you the scenario. Scenario is that it will take hardly two minutes now. Scenario is that uh, uh, now uh, where am I? This is my local because I am I am in profiles config cell dmjar cell nodes base 02 so this is this is my local i am still in base 02 though it says that my boundary is within dmjr so but still i am from base 02 so it means something is local so here let me create a file called uh, let me check what all the files are there so i am from dmjar just let me remove this text file yes and there is nothing here now let me create a file called uh, local.txt the file exists now it's and it's in this this uh, so let me copy this so this is my local let's say so let me delete everything so this is my local and here i have a file called local.txt let's create something in dmjr also so now danger config cells danger cell nodes itself and then uh, zero to node so now if i do start dot text so i have created this local dot text file right local dot text inside the uh, dmjr cells nodes I was still in DMGR cell nodes base zero to node. Here I created uh, uh, a file called local dot text. The cell are same. DMGR is also having DMGR cell uh, base zero to is also having same cell. The file systems are still same, but still if you are creating something manually here, that file is not visible here. So here I can see only this DMGR dot text file. The file that I created local dot text from the local file system is not visible in this file system so that's that uh, uh, that visibility is clear right something i created in this is not visible in this so why because that i didn't do from console or that uh, the reverse is not true if you create something in your local it, it doesn't mean that your master will have that because master is managing so many people like base 02 base 0314 i'm managing so many people my aim is being a dmj that everybody is in sync everybody is having what i'm having 
so it's it's not reverse true it's not vice versa it's like uh, everybody will start creating their own file system and i'll get all that because what will happen then i'll i'll have all the unique copies maybe base 0 2 will give me local dot text and tomorrow if base 0 is getting sync with me then i'll i'll give this local dot text to him and he is completely unaware okay. of that completely unaware oh, of that so, you know who, yeah so, what, so, the, so the yeah. deployment manager is uh, not aware of the local and the yes. local, and so it's not replicated to the local. Yes, and th that's the uh, ideal situation. Or is, suppose you do yeah. some uh, local dot text, and you have something uh, uh, related to your profile, some configuration. Tomorrow you give me that, and I'll start giving this to other nodes, and other nodes will get surprised from where I'm getting this uh, uh, configuration, which I am not sure of. So that's the actual scenario, and then uh, you are creating something in your DMGR, then because everybody is being managed by dmjar then dmjar will give all uh, this file to everyone because this is something admin has gone to console and created so this is ad, uh, admin file and this is admin has taken care of okay i have create i have to create this file so this is the master configuration and master configuration should always be there with the local file system so now uh, assuming this uh, i'll do another sync and uh, we'll see that uh, this text file will go and before i do that I'll let me just uh, refresh everything and list and make sure that uh, we have a clear cut so this is dmjr and ls hyphen l start dot text so only this file is there and then i'll quickly go to um, one back two back three four five six base zero two Config cells base zero. Okay, DMJ cells nodes base. So if here I do, then I'm having local dot text. So this is the scenario when I've created something manually. So DMJ is having a file which I do not have, but ideally I should have that file. So uh, I'm not in sync. So I'll go ahead and uh, do a sync and I'll assume that DMJR will give me his configuration, his master configuration. And uh, second scenario is that I'm having something in local. So DMJR will say, you know, I really should not have anything in your local. You should have all those files which I propagate to you. So I'm going to delete that. So to do that, uh, let's do a sync now. So base zero two and syncing with DMJ, and then check the file system. Where am I? I'm in uh, base zero two node zero one. Earlier local dot text was there. Now let's see. Local dot text is gone, and uh, DMJs. I am DMJ dot text file has come. And uh, if you see the DMJR, so from here it file gets copied paste, so it gets it doesn't get moved. That DMJR will lose this file. DMJR will also have this file because that's something like uh, uh, master configurations. So in master configuration also that file will be there, and from master configuration it comes into local configuration. So that that's how uh, your file system management will work going onwards. So here also that file will be present. So from here, this uh, from uh, DMJR's cell, or it file got uh, during sync. This file got copied here, and DMJR found that uh, there's something local dot text which is not present in my uh, my directory. So it deleted that file. Now the scenario is clear, right? Yeah. Yeah. And now in five minutes we'll talk about actually how does it uh, work. Because that is something in local, uh, uh, in background, so we cannot show you that. But uh, uh, how it happens? So maybe, maybe uh, in the interview or somewhere, uh, people can uh, ask. Uh, being an admin, we should be able to answer. So DMJ file system, and then we are having base file system. Like I'll say you with this example, a difference between sync and full resync. I'll take just five minutes and let you guys know. It's maybe very late for you. 
so what happens so dmjar file system base file system generally in file system what all will happen what all will be there uh, like say uh, in unix if you're talking then directory directory will have will be there and then files will be there so like that uh, in base also directory will be there and files will be there so let's say in ideal situation where everything is in sync where everything is in sync so generally what happens every directory gets uh, when first first sync happens when i'm getting federated to dmgr so then first sync happens during the first sync every directory gets some uh, pointers or some ident id called epochs so epochs are true for directory and every file just gets a value called digest value or like epoch value and a digest value so every file get its unique digest value and every directory gets a unique epochs value And, and this valuation this valuation happens after sync so once everything is in sync so suppose i'm having a bin directory here and i'm having a bin directory here so i'll make sure uh, sorry uh, I, again i'm talking about bin everything is within the config directory suppose inside config directory i'm having a directory one so let's say i'm having directory one and here also i'm having a directory one so after sync we both are in sync like I, you are having the same directory that i'm having so we both will have epochs value set let's say the epoch value set to one See, our epoch value is, uh, is one and your epoch value is also one similarly uh, once the directories uh, are in sync then uh, sync uh, goes and checks key whether i'm having all the file systems in sync so dmj goes and check okay uh, suppose i'm having 10 files you should also have those same 10 files same uh, same uh, uh, file name same modification date and all everything should be same if you're having a file which is not uh, uh, having like i'm having a file which got modified today you have the file but the file is modified two days back then i'll give you my file still you do not have the digest value same so all those things so uh, let's let's go slowly or uh, else i'll confuse you so what i was saying like first thing this is the scenario of first thing so i'll just put a bar here so first sync all directory gets a epoch value all files gets a digest value and this valuation happens after the file system comparison so directory one present here directory one present here okay uh, directory system is in sync so let me give epoch value one him epoch value one him then file comparison okay i am having the same files so files are in sync so give the digest value to file give the digest value to file things are in sync and in console i'll go ahead and mark this node as sync if tomorrow somebody says and ask me go ahead and do a sync then background i'll go and check immediately check the directories epochs and digest so i'll see okay the digest value and the epoch value are same so uh, this directory once epoch value is one and one and this file uh, digest value is one and one so everything is in sync so I immediately i'll throw an error or throw in a warning or message that everything is in sync so we, i cannot do a sync then uh, uh, suppose all of a sudden you came and you told okay let me create a local file a local file you have created so after all the uh, synchronization and after all the epochs and digest value assignment you you came and you you created a local file in your base so this file is there without any digest value right but because the uh, digest value assignment and epoch value assignment happens by the dmjr's container so uh, dmjr is not doing that you are doing it manually so it means the file is there without any digest value and if you create a directory let's say then directory is there without any epoch value same thing happens here also suppose uh, in dmjr uh, later on if i go and I create a new file then that file is still there without any digest value so these files are there without any digest value and and all, all those things so but still you have created these values locally so without any digest values it means what still if you do a sync i'll go ahead and i'll check the epoch values and the digest values so if those are there so directory one will be compared if uh, values matched okay in sync file this file gets compared digest value matched in sync 
these files no epoch value no digest value no epoch value no digest value so no need to compare so danger will get confused ki, okay i, I so like uh, it will not identify these files ki, okay in sync i'll uh, he'll not identify these files and it will still throw me error that uh, throw me the message that i'm still in sync but uh, i have done something in local so to override that only to override that uh, we have full resync option full resync means just go ahead and do all that file comparison epoch and digest value assignment all from scratch so the moment i create a full resync these these things gets omitted so now i have just directory files directory files so i'm having just all the all this epochs and digest value gets reset nothing is there that's it nothing is there now i'll start doing the file comparison and directory comparison so i found a directory one i found a directory one so fine i'm in sync i'll give it a new epoch value one and i'll give this person also a new epoch value because we got compared we are the same directory name and so we will get same epoch value then let's say this is file one so file one got uh, here also so file one will be in sync so i'll give him a new digest value because uh, uh, after sync i have to assign uh, uh, do these values so i'm assigning it so digest one and then this file is also in sync then he finds something like a, this is a, a, like a dmgr local file so this is like a dmgr local file let's say i have created this is the file manual manual file i have created it manual manual file so this file he, he is not able to find here so he will copy this file he will copy this file from its dmgr file system to local assuming that local should have my file so that's the ideal situation and then he will give him a digest value let's say two and him also two so now uh, from this side everything is compared still he will say ki, okay i got something created here some directory and local file has been created in base which i do not have so straight away uh, straight away uh, i'm not going to get in sync i'm only having three entities he's having three entities i have compared it uh, made it uh, uh, clear that uh, okay we are having the same thing epoch digest value assignment is done something i found which is not with me then i'm going to delete it that's it and then i'll say full resync happened and nodes are in sync <coughs> so that that's what we saw in our case also so like everything got uh, everything uh, uh, in local like local.txt got deleted and uh, i am from dmr.txt got copied from here to there and then uh, all the epochs and digest value were matched so i got status as sync if a status are matched the next sync will not work because it says nothing found i wrong and uh, then you say okay that was happening situation with local file system what if tomorrow this file which is not having a local file uh, i i do uh, a configuration like this file from master conception only from dmgr only i go ahead and i change something in this file and this file uh, uh, got modified the moment it gets modified it digest value increments so now its digest value is two and then because digest value is two uh, for the same file the digest value is one the nodes nodes immediately goes in not synchronized status and uh, says uh, admin that something changed in dmgr and that change is not synced with base so that's and that's an ideal situation that that is because you did something in your master configuration only but you didn't ask that file to go ahead and get synced with all the managed profiles so immediately i get not sync status and then when i'll again go and click on sync it will work earlier sync was not working but now sync will work because for the same file system i'm having different digest values so this file modified file will come here and then digest value will be here also too so that's how that's how things will work so if you do something uh, ideal change it files are, are required if you are doing something in master content itself digest value increments and because uh, your other file system is not having the same digest value you get not sync status and then your sync will work file will get 
copied from uh, master configuration to local configuration and digest value will get set to save and then you will get single status so hope i'm able to convince you guys i'll give you this uh, uh, i'll try to write this scenario as much uh, explanatory i can write is uh, just try to uh, visualize it just try to uh, uh, do some local file creation master file configuration do a sync and uh, let's say what happens and uh, next tomorrow onwards if we get any time not sync status for nodes i'll show you you see uh, the files are the same but uh, uh, the file modification time or something got changed or something new came in uh, dmgr which is not in base so that's something dmgr is willing to give to base so he will say okay, okay you guys you are not in sync with me come get sync with me i'm i'm having something new to give to you so in all those situations you'll get your nodes not in sync and so so till that i have to tell you what is a not sync then how to sync it in which scenario sync will work in which scenario full resync will work uh, what happens behind this when sync and full resync work and uh, uh, i'll try to give uh, explanatory notes on this or else uh, if i find something or some uh, uh, paragraph in a uh, red book where it, uh, they explain it uh, in a good uh, like a uh, uh, explanatory way then i'll just copy that and paste in my notes or else i'll just give you reference i have just copied it from a uh, uh, red book this page number this so you can go ahead and read it uh, uh, from your side also so this uh, completes uh, profile deletion so no more uh, activity we have to do in uh, profile so tomorrow uh, uh, i'll just walk you through so tomorrow i'll hold on on this uh, uh, tomorrow's class what i'll do i'll just go ahead and uh, recap everything uh, like uh, was nd fix pack and sdk i'm not going to recap that's a uh, easy part you do that and then uh, only the profile management uh, uh, like uh, after installation what file system i got and in which file system what file sits uh, the log location important config files important uh, executable files like a uh, like a start server start manager stop manager add node remove node all those files i'll explain i'll come with the notes till uh, today's class and uh, this uh, profile deletion and creation anyways i will understood tomorrow we'll talk about backup of that profile and how to restore that profile i'll took a backup of my was and then i'll go ahead and uh, delete a few of the folders in config itself and i'll corrupt all the uh, uh, configuration of that profile and then i'll say ki, okay suppose you did that then how to restore that profile with the backup that you had taken before that so all that uh, backup config and restore config will talk and then will uh, leave a profile management and we'll talk about clustering good cool. thank you yep so let's wrap up today see you guys tomorrow all right thank you